Okay, in this project we'll be using uh, Minecraft to create a building from a floor plan. In the previous assignment, we actually took a basic floor plan and created our 3D model in SketchUp. Okay, so what we're going to do here is actually just go to Module here. Then I will scroll down to uh, the assignment where we're going to be using Minecraft. So we're still using a basic floor plan to create a um, model in, in Minecraft. So in this summit you will use Minecraft Classic. It's an online version to create a basic floor plan. Here's the link to the to the version of Minecraft. Uh, below is our kind of like a, our basic floor plan. I know uh, Minecraft uses blocks. So it's very so much like um, in a real world you have building materials like 2x4s and like plywood sheets and like stuff like that. Those are building materials. They're not like just blocks, but you add those together. They all add together to create a finished building. That's very similar to like Minecraft is. So this is our basic floor plan here of 11 blocks long by 10 blocks wide. So we're going to use that to actually create our floor plan. Okay. So you're going to come up here to Minecraft Classic here. Click on the link. When you first click on it, it's going to, it's an online version, of course, so it's going to actually generate the level and it's going to do some different things, um, all this kind of stuff. And then whenever it finishes all that, it's going to ask you to like enter your um, username, I guess. And it really doesn't matter what kind of name you put in there. I've already done that, so I'm not going to launch a new game kind of thing, so I'm going to close that. But just know you actually need to put in some kind of name. It doesn't really matter what kind of name it is. But I forgot this person. So um, the Minecraft that we're using is an online version. So it's very, it's different from the um, the game version. So in this version, you don't have it in Tori. And you can't use, so this is not creative mode. So it's kind of like survival mode. So when you might when you first log in, the W is still forward, A is still left, D is still right, and S is still back. Um, but when you first log in, you might actually be like in a bunch of these other like hills and stuff like that. But you knew new is find a blank area like this. I've created one. I've kind of done this ahead of time. And you need to actually just delete blocks. When you actually highlight them, you can delete the blocks that way. You know, click on them. And if you want to create blocks, then you need to actually use two fingers and click on the keyboard or the um, trackpad with two fingers, and that's like double clicking. And then you have this like this little um, shadow effect. It's like the clock, the block that you're going to create. Okay. Uh, B is like. You don't have inventory list. These are unlimited blocks, but you have these these basic blocks that we're going to be using. Okay, so we're going to start with this corner block here. That's why I have selected here. Now you want um, if I go back to escape, so that way I can actually go back to the canvas here. So this is our floor plan: 11 blocks long and 10 blocks wide. Now, the, on the side with 11 blocks, we want to kind of like this is our doorway here. I'm going to add in some windows and some uh, roof there to it. Also, but we want our, um, I'm going to go back to the game, but we want the front of our building to overlook this kind of scenic view here. So I'm going to go back over here and start in the corner here. And this can be about right, well, let's say like our corner is going to be like right here. Okay, so I'm using my, that my wooden um, tree trunk is my corner here, just to signify it's a corner. So now I'm going to go back to actually select the wooden block, and this is going to be the long side. So this is 11 blocks wide. So the corner is one. This is two. This will be three, four, five, and this is going to be the opening for our, our doorway. So I'm going to leave it open. So that's five and six, and that's seven, eight, nine. 10. And this will be our corner, which is back to our uh, tree trunk. It's our corner. 
So now I'm going to actually go back to my wooden blocks here. So this is going to be 10. So, yeah, so this is corner is 1. So it'll be 2, 3, let's go back a little bit, 4, and going left, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this corner is back here in this tree trunk. Okay, so this will be 10. Now I go back to my wooden blocks here, and this could be all the way across, can be just like, um, oh, I'll scoot back, I'm sorry. So this will be 1, 2, this should go, this should match up. Sorry. Oh, I need to back up again. And this should match up. Well, yeah, this should kind of match up. So we're going to do this. Let's see, like this. So one, two, three, four, and this will be five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and it should be the corner block with the uh, the tree track there. That should be 11. So now we can go back to our wooden block here, and this should line up right there. Okay. So we just have uh, this corner is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the the corners are 10th block, right? So this is 10 by 11, okay? So now what I want to do is actually um, go to the, cor the, the corner blocking. So I'm going to make it three blocks high, okay? So just one, and go back to the wooden block here. And the easiest way to do is actually you go forward and, you know, the space bar is kind of like, you know, you jump up kind of thing. So left, and then what I'm going to do is actually just Create one, scoot back, create one, scoot back. Make sure it don't fall off. Y'all probably know, y'all, I'm sure y'all know how to do this. Easier than I do, actually, so. Um, and, uh, go back to the corner block here. This will be a corner block. I think you can, let's try this, you can jump and then click, oh wow, well. yeah, so, um, and then I just go up to double click here on my trackpad so I can, oh, it's still on the build, so double click, now this is highlighting here, so it's going to delete that block, now, um, then I just go back to B, and I just do the block there. Go forward. And come on, like this. If you want to like double click, uh, like have to double click on the trackpad to actually build. That's going to give my highlighting thing. So I can build that. Now I just want to just go forward a little bit. B and then like my tree trunk, that's my corner. Right here, B, back to my wooden block here. Now I just turn around and this would be wooden block, wooden block, wooden block, wooden block, wooden block. Yes, this is a wooden block. Now this is my corner here. And again, this is going to be a basic floor plan here. Um, on the next project we're going to do is a more involved uh, Minecraft thing. So you can actually probably get done with this pretty quickly. So I'm just actually assigning this to be introductory. Here. Now let's get forward. There. I can jump across this. Yeah, jump across it there. And here, and then there. Now what I'm going to do is actually just make the third level. I go back to my wooden block here. There. And there. I can 
handy both sides, I guess. <clears throat> okay. The corners. Mud block here. So I'm just making three levels here. That's all I'm doing. One block. Oh, I actually need a corner here. It's just nice that I showed my corners. That's a different kind of block there. So it's um, someone should actually use a different block for the corner. And again, this will be a lot easier in the creative mode because you fly and everything like that. But um, and this classic version, it doesn't let you fly. So, and it didn't have heavy blocks like the slabs. It doesn't have those. So um, it was limiting, I guess. And the highlighted thing is kind of weird because it is not normal for Minecraft, as far as I know. B and this corner block. Or block there, B, and then go back to the wooden block. So I've got this corner. Oop, now we do that jump thing again. There you go, did it. Awesome, good job. So now I have uh, the um, yeah, the basic walls built here. And I'm gonna click back here and go to my destroy this my so I've got my um, doorway here. It's kind of a skinny doorway, but it's fine, so you can get through it. So on the other side, I'm gonna do is actually go up to one, two, three, four, five. And so I should be like here is one, two, and then so that way I give this a one, two, three on the sides. And then this would be a one, two, three. And this is centered basically. So what I'm going to do is click B and go to my last block. So then I can then fill that in. So it's just the glass. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to go back to my build. Replace that. I wouldn't go back to my last block. And I place that here. One, so two, and then three little windows. So and then I'm gonna um, double click. I just go up a little bit. Very similar to this. We're gonna create another window here. So one, two, three, and this should be right up here. So four. And then five, and it's just like one, two, three, and this says three on the side. So then I can actually do uh, the same thing on the side. One, two, three, four, it's right above four, it's made with this, and that one. So I can check that again. One, two, three, that's right. So I just double click here, then it click on the B in the class block. It should actually let me build that last block. So it's there, there, and then the other side. I'm just doing that again. Here and here. Okay, so we've got our windows here, and it's our, again, it's our basic floor plan. So um, what I'll have to do is, since I can't fly, I've got to actually delete some things here. They let me get up on top of the building, and then I'm going to recreate those, rebuild those in. So I jump here. Yeah. So now I can click back again. B and then my wooden block again. So I'll put those back in the way it was. Here, here, and then there. Okay. So now we're actually going to create a roof. Okay. So this is going to be a very, very simple roof. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, I'm, I'm going to do first is actually to fill in there. And, uh, wait, why is it never there? Sorry. Now what I'm going to do is actually just go back to the destroy mode. So I destroy both of those. Because I just want one that hangs out in the middle here. B, button block. Um, oh, I'm still destroying it. So I need to actually, that's actually the building one. So now what I can do is actually jump down here because I don't need to be on top of that to be able to build those. So I'm basically just building these. And so I'm building this uh, kind of roof looking thing. But it's going to be very important that actually you do 11 by 10 so you can get the, the windows in there the right width and the right uh, be symmetrical because a lot of times buildings uh, are very symmetrical and the reason it just makes things look a little more uniform let's bring in i'll still be using the wood right here here backing up there 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 And uh, I should pretty get through this pretty quickly. I'm just creating a little roof on this guy, this building. Oh, let them. There we go. I'm just looking at straight now and building. But feel free to actually fast forward this part if you need to. Uh, hmm, let me go to the side here, right here. Might be a little easier to do it, yeah. Here, here, and then I think this is straight over my head now. So I've got this roof, okay. Now I can, I can click on. So I've got the roof built, yeah, okay. And um, you now I can, if I go out of here, I can see that I've got my little view, okay. And I've got my own basic building. And I've got uh, the corners here that are actually kind of like a tree trunk thing. And I've got my windows that are symmetrical to the building here. They're symmetrical. So it's like a pretty simple kind of like structure there. Okay. So this should be easy to finish within one class period here. So the three windows on that side, they're uh, laid out symmetrical. And then the other three sides, the two windows on the side. Okay. So I got my doorway. Huh? Um, on the next project, we're going to be doing something like this again. But we're going to be doing something a little more elaborate. Okay. So I want you to, like, save this. I want you to click. It's um, choose escape as the options. And uh, controls here. What you're going to do is you're going to like save location. So I can choose enter. Um, that's where you're going to choose save location. So I'm going to choose enter. And it like just saves the location really. Okay. And um, what you want to do is I want you to like just uh, show me that you've completed this stuff. You can add like a different screenshots. Oh, sorry. I delete that. So I need to add that wood block in. Yeah. So 
So then if you want like to actually complete this, you can actually take a screenshot from the beginning here. And uh, you can look up, I think, I'll choose escape here. To be able to take a screenshot, On Chromebook, right? So it's basically you're going to be um, using the yeah. I have this uh, what is that? Control plus show windows. Actually, this um, this little icon. It's right up here. And click on this. It's like this little. Let me make this larger here. Let's see if it's going to make it larger. So it's like shift control on this like little, it's like like a little square with some lines beside it. Okay, those two things. That's how you're going to take a screenshot. So I want you to just uh, back the game and take a screenshot of that thing right there. So that's going to be a screenshot. <clears throat> uh, let's. We're gonna take a screenshot of all four all four sides to show me that the windows are in the right place. Right. So that's the screenshot there. So I messed up the screenshot on the first side. So we're gonna upload three screenshots, basically. Um, four screenshots. I'm sorry. Back to the game. Sorry, I pushed escape there. So then you're going to take control, I'm sorry, control, and then like the little square. And that's going to take in that screenshot. And I'm going to actually go around and actually go to the other side. So like I just went around. So you might have to have some area to be able to do this. So control and the window key. So take in the screenshot, and that can go back. And then look at this side here. Take another screenshot. Control. And that one right there. Okay. So there's four different screenshots. And what I'm going to do is I've turned those into that assignment. I click escape. Get my mouse back. Get the basic uh, Minecraft building thing. And what I'm do is, oh, I need to actually view this to view. So I can turn that in, basically. So I'm going to click submit. Then I'm going to go to choose my files, right? Then I'm going to go to my images and I find my four screenshots. These are my four screenshots. This one, I choose my shift key. Oh, is it letting me? Oh. I don't guess it's letting me. So we're going to have to do each one individually. Too bad. Anyway. So choose open there, and then we choose another file. Upload that one. It's under images. There's the second screenshot. So you can rename these like one, two, three, four, if you want to. This will be the third screenshot. So I'm going to go and just this is a one, two, three. Have that one, and then this last one screenshot. My images here. One, two, three, and this is the fourth one. So all four sides of my building. So pretty simple there, and then you actually can click submit. Okay, and that will actually complete that assignment. Okay.